guys, it's Sheridan, and today we're doing a review of the Nerf Captain America Blaster. So, the Captain America Blaster is obviously supposed to be Captain America's shield, but you wear it like this. It's got an adjustable band here, so anyone of any size can really wear it, but you, what you do is you use your other hand to pull on this lever here, which brings the turret up, and throws your darts out at the same time, which isn't very helpful. So once you've got your blaster deployed here, what you do to fire it is you pull on this handle here, which is just a big trigger, and it's got a smart AR system, so it will automatically fire each dart, and then when it's done, you just fire again, and then it'll go back in. It's also got a nice attachment point here. You can't attach any nerf uh, tactics, but you, it does come with like a weird flashlight which you can put on. So the cool thing about the Captain America Blaster is that it doesn't actually have a prime. Instead you just pull the trigger and it automatically shoots. It's kind of the same thing going on with the Snapfire 8 and that's pretty cool. But one more thing you can do with it is if you have your darts here you can load them up without priming the blaster. I'm not going to hold those two, but if you don't put the flap down, you can kind of send the flap flying, which isn't really that optimal. So that's the end of the overview of the Captain America Blaster. Now moving on to the range test. Hey guys, it's Tom, and today we're here at the range to range test the Captain America Shield Blaster. So first, we're just uh, shooting it with elite darts because those are really the only darts it uses. Uh, okay. First, starting off with flat shots, let's go. Well, one of the main problems with the blaster is that it sometimes shoots two at a time. That's really just a smart AR problem in general. Okay, now angled shots. Okay, that's it for shooting the darts. Now let's check the ranges. So our first shot here is at about uh, eight feet, terrible. Um, okay, next shot here is at about uh, 11 feet, and up here, next shot here is at about 20 feet, and our last shot up here is at about 28 feet. Okay, that's it for the range test, now on to the conclusion. So, the Captain America Blaster is not great at all. I mean, ranges of about, maybe, 15 to 20 feet as the, kind of the average is just not good at all. So the only really good thing about the Captain America Blaster is that it has a good priming system where you don't have to actually prime it, you just pull the trigger and it primes and shoots at the same time, which is a cool system. It's just too bad that they didn't make it shoot a bit farther. Like, come on, Hasbro. So this blaster was released to promote the Captain America Winter Soldier movie, which means it's probably not available anymore unless they decide to release it again for an upcoming Captain America movie. So, should you ever pick one up? No. They are terrible, not worth your money. So, never get this. Even if you're a Captain America fan, this blaster isn't for you. Um, yeah, that's really not much else to say. So, that's the end of our review. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe.